Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be going over linked list cycle. So in this problem, you're supposed to determine if a linked list has a cycle in it. And if you guys aren't familiar with the linked list data structure, here it is right here. There is a head pointer pointing to the first element or the first node. And then the last node points to a null in the case where there's no cycle. In the case where there is a cycle, the last node points back to one of the previous nodes. So the obvious solution for this would be to store each node into a hash set. And then whenever that node is repeated, in the case we go to four to two, that two would have already been in the hash set. So then we can return true. We know there's a cycle in it. However, this solution takes up an O of N space complexity. And the follow-up question from the interviewer might be, how can we do this with O of one space complexity? And the answer is using an algorithm called Floyd's tortoise and hare algorithm. So in this algorithm, you have two pointers, one slow pointer and one fast pointer. So essentially the gist of this is that the slow pointer will move one node every iteration and the fast pointer will move two nodes every iteration. And then if this keeps going on, there will eventually be a point where the fast and the slow pointer equal each other in the case there is a cycle. So in our first iteration, we set the slow pointer equal to head and the fast pointer equal to head.next. And then we check to see, we enter this loop and we check to see if slow is not equal to fast. So when slow is not equal to fast, we know that we have to keep on continuing, right? And then we have this if statement here to check to see if fast.next or fast.next.next is null. So in the case that it's null, that means you've reached the end of the linked list and you can return false. We know there's no cycle in it. And then after that, you want to put slow equal to slow.next, which would be the next element over, and fast equal to fast.next.next, which would be two nodes over. For our next iteration, we have slow pointing to three and fast pointing to zero. And if we can continue on, we get to the point where fast loops back around to two and slow also points to two. So in this case, slow and fast are both pointing to the same number and we exit this while loop and we return true. And that's pretty much it guys. So this solution has a time complexity of O of N and a space complexity of O of one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.